Good afternoon. Saturday the 25th of July 2020. This is your weekly Labour Law Report from the Democratic Alliance. Today we're going to discuss the budget and the effect it has on the various institutions, including the CCMA. We're going to discuss the effect it has on small business and how even Kosatu has knocked the budget. Strange how the trade union movement has now suddenly found a voice. They too have attacked the Minister Tito Mugwene. And at last the trade unions are starting to say something about their retrenchments. We will discuss some of the municipalities. Only 20 out of 257 were in receipt of clean audits. This is Michael Bagram, the Democratic Alliance Labour spokesperson. And thank you for listening to me today. We've had 32 billion rand in illegal expenditure, irregular expenditure in the municipalities. We've had 150 billion rand lost to corruption and wasteful expenditure. It is unbelievable in a time like this when our government is almost bankrupt that we still have those sites that we have to face on a daily basis where officials are stealing, wasting, and basically we don't know what is happening with the money. We now know that the last report at the end of April was an extra 3 million people had been retrenched. We now know that it's almost 4 million and counting. And we suspect it's going to reach the 7 million figure by the end of August 2020. That's 7 million extra people retrenched over and above the 10 million that we had when we went into the lockdown. So what are we saying? We're saying that every one person has the responsibility to look after four or five people. That's what the statistics tell us. And if you take an extra seven million and you multiply that by five, we've got mass starvation in the country. And our government is silent. They are doing nothing about that. The Democratic Alliance has a plan. We have a long, properly worked out, solid plan. And we beg people to just come to our website and have a look. Look at all the plans that we're putting together and how we are running at least the Western province, which is running properly. And we're not facing the same problems that we're facing in the rest of the country. What we're doing with the retrenchments in the Western province is that we're looking at placing people, we're looking at retraining, we're looking at support to small business, all of that. And I'm not going to bore with you, bore you with all those plans. But we do have plans and we need to start looking at the whole of South Africa so where we can do it. Just to look at another little issue, and that is the Labour Court. The Labour Court is going to be inundated with people claiming for their unfair retrenchment claims. When you've got 7 million extra retrenchments, we can suppose that about 10% of them will refer their disputes to the CCMA. Well... The minister, in his wisdom, said that he's taking off 55 million rand off the CCMA budget. In his wisdom, he said he's going to take off the small business department off their budget. Now that's all very well, but the small business department does nothing anyway. The minister is well known to do nothing, absolutely nothing. So small business department we can write off completely. That's just a... A laugh if it wasn't so serious. But the CCMA is a hard-working body that produces results. And with those results, we are seeing at least a bit of labor peace. But as things fall apart and as more and more people start referring their disputes to the CCMA, we're going to see that that system will be destroyed. It's a crying shame that the minister has to do this. We were lucky enough to see the TERS payment, the emergency funding of the UIF, extended to the mid-August. But of course that doesn't help the individuals who haven't been paid in April. What about the million people who have been short paid or not paid at all? Minister's not listening. He's just not listening. It is again an absolute disaster. And the more we nag, the more we write letters, 
the more the minister turns a deaf ear to the people of South Africa. He has let down the workforce of South Africa. And I can't keep repeating it enough, and I can tell you hundreds and hundreds of stories of individuals who have written to me about their personal circumstances and what the non-payment of the UAF has done to them and their families and anything that they owned. It has destroyed the workforce of South Africa. Now, what we do know is that as cases are going to the CCMA, the Commission for Conciliation, Mediation and Arbitration, we are finding that it's getting more and more difficult to get these cases through. We are finding that because they are inundated and they have no extra budget, we are finding longer waits. At this stage, when you refer a case to the Labour Court, it's going to take you two years. I suspect by the time you refer a case in September of this year, you're going to wait three years before you have it heard. It's become a nightmare. And the nightmare is caused by the South African government because of our lockdown. There is no other reason. It's not the pandemic. It's the lockdown. We have the longest lockdown in the world and our government does not care. The reality is that we can start doing things. We can start following what is being done in the Western province and the Democratic Alliance government. They are showing the way forward. They are asking people to buy local goods. They are asking people to start producing here in the Western Province. It is fantastic what we're seeing. And we're starting to see some growth of employment in the Western Province. We must buy local. Obviously, we must trade local as well. Now, let me just go backwards a little bit so that we know where we stand. Before the lockdown, we had a proposal with regard to the Employment Equity Regulations, BE and triple BE. Now we have some proposals from the Minister of Labour, as business shrinks and dies, we have proposals from the Minister that he wants to bring in harsher regulations, harsher legislation. He wants to be able to ensure that through regulation he can determine quotas of certain people in certain businesses and in certain industries. It is unbelievable. It is unbelievable that the business community is now on its knees and now's the time for the Minister of Labour to kick them. Not to help them, but to kick them when they're down. We implore you, Minister, look at this carefully. Look at the small business environment. Look at the business environment overall. Look at the people who can't even trade properly yet and those that aren't allowed to be open. Where is your sympathy? Where is the empathy that any government in the world has to show. But no, we don't see that from our South African government. No empathy at all. Hopefully, they, when they see how the Western province is starting to grow out of this pandemic and starting to trade again, that at least the local governments will start looking at the Western province. And then hopefully, national government will have a look carefully and say, Let's open up this economy. Let the people trade. Let's go back to at least a vibrant business community in South Africa. Thank you for listening to me today. It's Michael Bagram, Democratic Alliance Labour spokesperson, Saturday the 25th of July, 2020. Thank you.